Good day, grade 2. Today, we're going to have a new lesson that you will surely find interesting and have fun with. And the title of our lesson for today is Visualizing and Representing Numbers from 0 to 1000. But we will focus on 101 to 1000. So, to start with, let's give some help. Hmm. What do you think is happening to the boy on the picture? Hmm. He's trying to find out something. He's thinking. Hmm. Maybe he's a little bit confused. Actually, children, this is James. He's quite confused because he saw something. And what do you think did he see? Let's find out. Hmm, what do you think are those? Blocks? Yes. And another set of blocks? Yes. Actually, he's asking some questions about these blocks. He's trying to find out and he's wondering how many small squares are there in all. So he's trying to count the blocks in those squares that we see. So, that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's talk. So, always remember kids, from what we studied before, that this block, the one that you see, is what we call a unit. A unit is just one piece of block. And then, this set of blocks is what we call one long. In one long, there are 10 blocks or 10 units. And this time, we have lots of blocks already. Lots of longs. Actually, these are 10 longs. And when we have 10 longs, they are called one flat. And in one flat, there are 100 units or 100 blocks in this flat. So, if we combine two longs, they are 20 plus 5 units, the number will be 20 plus 5 is equals 25. And if we combine, how many longs do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five longs. So how many are they? Good. Fifty. And then we have six units. So if we combine them together, fifty plus six is 56. Very good. And if we combine, wow, what do you call this? This is a flat. And how many blocks do we have in a flat? Very good. 100. So, if we have 100 blocks plus 6 units or 6 blocks, then we have 100 plus 6 equals 106. That's nice. And if we combine again, one flat plus another flat and another flat. So how many do we have? Can you make a guess? Hmm, let's see. We have 300 blocks. Yes, we have 300 blocks plus 5 units equals, yes, 305 because 300 plus 5 is 300 blocks or 305 blocks rather. Yes, we have 305. And then, again, if we combine, how many flats do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many flats? Good. 
we have 500 blocks or 5 flats. And then, another 5 flats. So, how many are the blocks already? Again, we have 500 blocks. So, 500 combined with another 500, the answer will be 1,000. Yes, very good. And now, always remember that to visualize and identify numbers from 0 to 1,000, we can represent the numbers by objects and counting objects like blocks, just like what we did. And then, we can also group them by using units like, for a unit, it's just one block. For longs, it's just 10 blocks. And for flats, we have 100 blocks. So let's have some brain exercise. So let's count the squares. Count the squares in each set and choose the correct number from the choices given. So for number 1, we have 1 flat or 100 blocks plus 10 plus 4 units. How many do we have? It's very good. We have 114. Next, 2 flats or 100 plus 100 plus 30 or 3 longs. What do you think is the answer? Very good. We have 230 blocks. And number three, how many flats do we have? We have three flats or we have 100 plus 100 plus 100 again plus six units equals. Very good. We have 306. Great job. Yes, I'm so happy that you were able to visualize and count numbers from 0 to 1,000. And to practice more, let's go back to our genio.